All right. Good morning, everybody. We are on our way, Robert and I, to go to Denver Health for his foot amputation. And he has uh, agreed to just uh, talk along the way and thought we'd just chat with you guys on the way to his surgery this morning. A lot of you haven't um, actually seen or met Robert, so here he is. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. In the flesh, all buckled up and uh, ready for our drive. Luckily, we didn't have to be there at uh, 7 a.m. Yeah. I also have uh, really good news for everybody. We talked yesterday about where Robert was going to recover, and uh, it was up in the air very much yesterday, and that was it was a, it was not a good thing. Um, he does have a place to go for recovery. Uh, we, we had a host family for a little while here and we were very fortunate to have that while we waited, boy, Robert, we've been waiting for about a little over a month for your surgery. It's been a little bit over a month for severe frostbite. up that bench yeah 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 they tried to get me to come here earlier and as I was I don't know because you know me and everything they so. called you this morning no oh it's been a while gotcha. it's, it's been a couple days ago uh they wanted me to go in and fucking eat I told him no. Yeah. And they went and fucking got somebody else. I guess. Then they called me while I was just going in and fucking. Tell you fucking supposed to. You talked to somebody this morning, right? No. I haven't talked to nobody this morning. Oh. Uh. Like I said, this was a couple days ago. Oh, okay. Well, Christine said this morning and asked if you had a ride. Oh, yeah, they, they called this morning. I don't know. They're looking surgery. I think we'd probably have a better understanding. So, yeah, that's a little up in the air when we get there. And uh, I'm not going to put up with any bullshit. I'm just saying. And really, Robert, if you have any questions at all, if something doesn't feel right, if something is on your mind, I want you to ask. I don't want you consenting to surgery if you have any questions at all fair yeah okay and i'm going to push you to ask questions like what we just talked about remember what we just talked about uh, the question about what's next yeah yeah how do i how do i come out of surgery and live without a foot very, very important. So Robert will be going into recuperative care 
through Stout Street, and I cannot say enough good things about what has transpired. Um, you've all heard me talk about Colorado Coalition for the Homeless. And uh, there are some incredibly dedicated and excellent, excellent people in that organization on the medical side. It's, um, and on the housing side as well. There are dedicated people, but the place is a little bit in uh, despair right now. But the medical side of things is uh, very, very good. And we have a lot of people on Robert's team. A lot. And Trevor, your nurse has been coming. Yeah, they've been coming. Three times a week to do your wound care. And uh, they prevented infection. So that's good. Yeah, Trevor said I was doing good. I was doing really good. So. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a couple weeks, but uh, it's definitely time to remove that foot, right? Yeah. Well, it's fucking hurt. And I don't know what kind of fucking pain I'm going to go through and get my fucking foot cut off. Well, right there is a good question, right? To be asking. What are you gonna do for me for pain when I wake up? Because the pain is gonna be different. And I've been sleeping a couple of nights. I'm having that TV. Yeah. I watch that TV and I just fucking pass it on. The TV shows off by itself. Yeah, that that's what those smart TVs that's what they do. And thanks to some very generous donors, as usual, we were able to get Robert um, a TV so he had something to watch while he was laying in bed waiting for surgery. I try not to get it that much. Because it fucking hurts. Right. As soon as I fucking put this fucking shoe on. It fucking hurts. Silence? Did you, did you have your ringer silenced? No, I had, I had, I had everything on. Yeah. Do you have your phone charger, Robert? Yeah, it's in my pocket. Okay. Good. But yeah, he called me and my phone didn't, it didn't fucking let me 
show that if you took a photo of a tassarin, he hung up. He called Kirsty. Well, good. He was working hard to get a hold of you. That was cool. Yeah. Everybody, thanks for coming along on the ride with us. <laughs> I know this is probably not the most entertaining stream of uh, Regan Benson channel, but it's an important stream because it's about Robert today. And uh, I just want to ask those of you that pray to pray and keep him in your thoughts and that we have. Um, we need when we get to Denver Health. Uh, because Robert's going to lose his uh, right foot today and his life is going to be forever altered. It already has been kind of a difficult transition, right? I mean, yeah. you're, oh, yeah. you've learned to do a lot in the last few weeks without a foot. psychological shift for the brain as well to teach the brain how to make the body work without a foot without falling of course right yeah. <laughs> Time to meet Robert. It's kind of hard to think about how to persevere when you feel kind of helpless, right? That's been the issue a lot for you, I know, because you're uh, you're very independent. <laughs> Yeah, you are. You want to do things for yourself. Things, things are fucking weird right now. Yeah. I forget things and stuff like that. So. And that happens, even to the best of us. But then to be in a situation you're in, it just kind of compounds it. So I know this has been hard for you, Robert. Yeah. I, I know it has. Oh, yeah. And that's why you've got a lot of people rallying for you. I just wonder, you know, if I lose my fucking foot, how well I'm gonna fucking be. I know I'm not fucking to fucking cry or whatever. And that's okay, Robert. I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay to cry and feel that way. Most definitely. I don't want you to hesitate to share those feelings. And even after this surgery, Robert, I'm not going anywhere. here. So now we're probably going to be a few minutes late. Oh. Unless somebody lets me over. Please, please, please let me over. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Yay. We need to get on 6th Avenue.
That foot's smelling too, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It stinks. Chris Dead? Chris Teach was saying something about it. It's just, it's. And I haven't really smelt it. You wouldn't, because you're living with it. And maybe, yeah, uh, maybe that's what it is. You know what I mean? Tell me to take a fucking shower or bath or Well, that's not going to fix the smell. I, I, I'd be the one to do it. And I went to the shower on Wednesday. Good. Perfect. Or something. And that's not an easy task. Well, yeah. For I, you, well, is I, it? I wrap my foot. Right. And then. That way it don't get all wet. I'm just really, really disappointed that they made you wait this long. It just feels very uh, uh, torturous, inhumane. I think there's a couple other words for that, right? Yeah. Well, I can think of a couple, but <laughs> I ain't gonna say. <laughs> spirits today and I'm glad. Did you did you sleep good last night? I didn't really sleep last night. You just you're sleeping in periods of time just uh, all throughout the day and night. I like I said I doze off. Yeah. And then I wake up. Or not really wake up but I don't sleep. Except for real. Like I said, I have been sleeping. I have slept a couple nights, which is good. A couple solid nights of good I'll, sleep? Because I'll wake up and it's like, whoa. Is it the pain I that slept, wakes you? I slept. The... Well, I'm in fucking pain all the time. So Does that foot so wake so you up? Do you so get so twinges? So, of... so I can't sleep. Sucks. facility to go over to your recuperative care and Robert I actually I've not I, this is a this is a new facility that you're going to after your surgery and it's quite nice it's it's real nice it looks like it's possible you might have to share a room yeah. I'm um, not 100% certain on that. Well, I was reading it today. I got a fucking paper that I was reading. It said that, you know, I, I have a resident or whatever. You have what? I have a resident. Oh, a roommate? Yeah. Oh, okay. So they probably already told you that you do? Okay. It's on that fucking paper. Gotcha. So. Well, 
it's it's from what I can gather it's it's well staffed um, there's nurses available all the time uh, I believe there's doctors on call all the time yeah that's what that fucking 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 for shut down so that gives me a lot of comfort and especially because it's at Stout Street and we have a we've, we've have a good relationship with them and they're the ones that have made everything happen yeah. and you have a doctor there at Stout Street and you'll uh, you'll be able to have your pain managed well I'm, I'm very confident in that I think I have the utmost confidence in that. there to recover. We're still working with, with the case manager at Stout on some more temporary housing for you until we get your permanent housing. But it's going to take time. Yeah. And there could be, I mean, I'm going to be honest, there could be some bumps in the road. I'm hopeful the one thing that you'll promise me, Robert, is that you don't walk away. I'm okay. Can you promise me that? I, 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 don't, I, I ain't gonna do nothing. I don't want to get my fucking foot taken care of. But as you start to heal and you start to feel better and you figure out how to become more mobile, you know, there might be some points of frustration, Robert. And you always have the right to not be held against <laughs> your will. Yeah. And I just, and I know you're very independent, and I just am very hopeful <laughs> that if you get into some situation that you're like, fuck this, I'm done, I'm leaving, I don't give a shit anymore, I want you to call me. But I'm worried you won't remember. And I don't want you to get back into the same situation where I found you. Because your memory isn't serving you well. Am I making sense? Yeah. Because I care. I don't take things on and not follow through, Robert. When I commit and I say these things are going to happen, I may not have control of everything that happens, but I'm sure going to fight like hell. But I can't fight if I can't find you. Yeah. So I just hope that you'll remember that. And Maybe I need to come see you more so you can connect my face, <laughs> yeah. right? So that was that, that's my fault for kind of being absent for the past couple weeks in your presence. But you did remember to call me the other day about the TV. Yeah, well... Something sparked you. Well, I didn't realize that was that fucking TV. I mean, Kirsty said something that I didn't know. Yeah. Because, you know, she didn't really say. Right. So. And if it's... If we get... If it makes sense and we get in a situation where you need that TV, I'll, I'll bring it to you, brother. All right. You know?
Is that constant? Uh, is it itching up your up your leg? That's my it's my ankle. Okay. It fucking itches. And it's been doing it a little bit lately. last time and try to take a shortcut and it ends up being not a shortcut. <laughs> yeah. Never know about traffic around here, huh? That's it. That wasn't too bad. So, Robert, how about we leave the scooter in the car for now because I think it would be best well, we just do everything in wheelchair. Well, it'd be kind of hard to do that in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah we no, we. I'm going to have them take you up to the third floor, okay, while I go park. Or they can put you in the wheelchair. <coughs> Denver Health um, treats their wheelchairs like they are um, million dollar gifts from Buddha. I, I, I don't this whole uh, getting a wheelchair at Denver Health uh, they want my driver's license and they'll return that when I return the chair. Uh, no no we're not doing that so they have people they hire to monitor the wheelchairs which the kid that helped us last time was super nice. So hopefully he's there again, because he took you right up there and didn't just park you there. And then I think for now, Robert, I will leave your stuff, all of your stuff in the car. Okay. Because you have your wallet with you. Right, you have everything on you that yeah, you need. Yeah, I got my, I got my fucking, all my wallet and all that stuff right here. Okay. I grabbed this fucking jacket. Make sure I had that. Perfect. So, what's gonna happen is you're going to be in like a pre-op room for quite a while before you actually go into surgery okay and I'd, I'd like to be back there with you if you'll let me yeah okay you can come back here okay I don't care. and that's what you need to tell the staff you haven't had surgery before have you a long time ago I had it. Did you have an? I mean, you were under anesthesia and. I was knocked out. Yeah. Okay. So as far as you know, you do well with the anesthesia, right? Yeah. Because nobody's asked you any of these medical questions before. Nobody's listened to your heart that I've seen. Um, there's no blood work. Um, so. Yeah. make our way right up in here because this person's going to have to pull forward, guy. You can't just sit here. Let's go. Last time, this was swarming with people directing traffic. Now there's not yeah, yeah. a single person. Uh, me and you came here. Yeah, and we were the only car here, and they yelled at me for my tires being uh, like a foot in the crosswalk. 
Okay, so this is going to be quite the um, chaotic situation. So... Can people get by me right here? Yes. They should be able to. I think that so. looks like it. All right, Robert, I'm going to go inside and get you, get the wheelchair situation lined up. I don't want you getting out of the car, okay? I mean, just okay. wait. Yeah, please, I'll, I'll wait for you. Let's, uh... get by now that this person's going to park you should be here. Able to, you should be able to get by. They should be able to get by. It looks like you ever... Okay, there we go. Well, that car's fucking leaving, too. Okay. Be right back, Robert. Okay. Okay, well, we can't get a wheelchair for a while because I won't give them my ID to hold. While everybody has access to this drawer where they keep these IDs. I don't play this game, <laughs> so I guess, Robert, you know, we're just going to have to uh, get you on your scooter somehow. This is the shit I'm talking about. Can't even get a fucking wheelchair. Yeah, that's fucking sad. So we're going to pull around and find a better parking spot so I'm not sticking out like that. So they got that one guy yeah, doing the, the wheelchair. There's fucking parking right there. Yeah. Well, we'll just get that spot. I'm going to get you out on your scooter and help you along the way. And then I want you to wait for me right here until I go park. Can't even get a wheelchair for somebody that has surgery that doesn't have a foot. This is, this is insane. Hey, somebody's going to get run over. I don't know why you have to make everything so difficult. 
All right, well, I guess we're unloading this scooter. But I can't open my door because there's a car. Okay, never mind. I guess they decided they wanted to take him up there. Why couldn't we just have that confirmation from the beginning? see if uh, we have parking. fit my tiny car in here. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. It's valet parking only. Parking only that way as well. Okay. I've only parked in this garage a couple times. Each time I was incredibly lucky because somebody was pulling out. Oh, and it looks like this lady might be leaving. Uh, okay. I'll be waiting for this spot here. Yeah. So, okay. That's 
last time we were here, the wheelchair debacle, they can't leave the wheelchair with him. So they have to escort him all over the place because I won't give up my ID for them to just hold and do whatever they want with in a drawer where all kinds of people have access to come into this desk area and there's all this activity going on and but you're not getting my ID. Okay, well, she's obviously not leaving. There's no parking in here. There are 500 cars in here doing circles. Okay, but at least he'll be up on the third floor, but when will Regan get there is the question. So I guess we're going to be sitting here for a minute because this person in front of me has the same idea to wait for a parking spot, except they weren't smart enough to be over far enough to make sure people could get by them. <laughs> so I've been on the road for almost an hour and a half just to get here go get him and get here. Hey, MM no, Brandon. Wanda. Thanks for being in here, guys. Irish Rover, I think you're still in here. Thank you very much. So hopefully by the time we get to the top of the parking garage, uh, there'll be some parking. Dude, come on, people are a trip. You just you just gotta laugh. Gotta laugh to save the blood pressure. I found a spot. Yay! We're here. <laughs> we are here. All right, real quick, y'all. Thank you for coming along for the ride. If you're just joining us or watching the very end of this, we're here at Denver Health. Our friend Robert is having his foot amputation surgery today. This took um, almost an act of God because this would not have happened the way it happened if I didn't have help through Colorado Coalition for the Homeless. It's kind of an emotional day. I've never helped a person lose a limb. Um, I've never, I've never helped a person through losing a limb. Let me rephrase that. Um, as you know, Robert was on a bench in Inglewood. Um, I got no help out there. All we got was criminalization from the cops. It's all on video. Um, so this day has been brewing behind the scenes for a while now. I want to thank all of you immensely just for the virtual emotional support because so many of you understand what's going on, you follow this, uh, these situations, and I'm grateful 
because it feels very lonely sometimes. And although I would do this anyway, um, it helps to have your support. And I want to thank you all immensely. I will keep you updated. And um, uh, just um, help me get through this with Robert today. Thank you, you guys. Take care.